ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews, and this is my review for Warlock the Armageddon. We are back with Julian Sands playing the Warlock, but now we have Chris Young playing Kenny we have Paula Marshall playing Samantha. We have Stephen Kahn playing Will Travis. R.G. Armstrong playing Franks. Ch uh, Charles Hamilton playing Ethan. There is a lot in this movie. Uh, we open with another flashback of this birth happening, and it is forded by these people. And then we get sent to the 90s, California. We're, the 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 uh, Chris Young's character and Paula Marshall's character are the warriors who are going to go after the warlock. Uh, we see the warlock get birthed in a pretty pretty visceral visceral scene. They kill a dog. All the kills and everything else is way more amped up in this. It makes him look so much more violent and menacing. Uh, I hate his haircut in this. I definitely like his haircut from the original. Um, but yeah, he's way amped up. There's, there's, he, he ends up, he ends up uh, driving this car. He picks up this girl and she's like, all oh, she's trying to come on to him, looking, trying to look all hot and sexy. And he, uh, she won't stop being like, oh, does my hair look good? All oh, my hair look good. He literally grabs her by the hair, rips her hair off her head, and kicks her out, like boots her out of the car. She dies. But uh, he, so when he gives gave birth, they wrote a map on this lady's skin and he cuts it with it. So he takes the hair and wipes it across the map because the map's decaying, getting old and all that stuff. So he wipes it across and the map's new, showing all the places he has to go to get these five rune stones. And then he can bring Satan or the devil or whatnot back. Uh, then you get introduced to the warriors, which is Chris Young and Paula Marshall's characters and uh it's very cool and then like the people that are training that are training uh them it's all really dope like they have the the two warriors have to die and be reborn to be able to go after the warlock and it has a great fight scene uh the warlock ends up uh crucifying this one girl to a cross and they just all get into it this is a fun fun sequel uh that i actually kind of i think i liked it way better than the first one to be quite honest other than i love richard e grant uh julian sands is he, he just seems so much more menacing and so much more of a bad guy in this than he did in the other one quite honestly and like i said in the, my previous review of warlock which i will link at the end of this video that laurie laurie singer kind of she just came off really weird uh in the movie, I think it was just maybe bad casting or what they did with her character or maybe her wardrobe or something like that. But you don't get a reference to Redfin. You don't get a reference to her throughout the movie. I thought it would have been cool if it like would have opened up and she's the one that gave birth to the warlock. I thought that would have been cool. Uh, but no, they didn't do that. Uh, we yeah we get no we get no reference to Redfin nothing. This is kind of pretty much you don't really need uh, to watch the original to watch this one. So this was kind of like the first reboot, <laughs> to be quite honest. Uh, but this was a fun film. Like I said, I do believe I enjoyed this a lot more than the original. Uh, where does this lie on my five star review scale? The story is a 4.5. The cinematography is a 3. The characters are a 4. The design is a 3, which brings our total to 3.625 on my bloody star scale. Guys, have you seen Warlock? to the Armageddon. Let me know down in the comments below. I'd sure love to have a conversation with you. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, help us grow in 2024. I appreciate everybody who does that, and I will see you in my next review. Bye.